Hey everyone, Johnny from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Time lapse, what is it and what is it used for? A time lapse involves capturing a series of photos over a period of time. These photos are assembled and then sped up into one video showing the passing of time. So, what subject makes a good time lapse? Well, I'm glad you asked. Anything that moves slowly and changes over time is perfect for a time lapse. This can be anything from the sun rising and setting, to the movement of clouds, to the movement of cars on a highway, even the growth of plants, movements that you can barely notice with the naked eye. You may have seen time lapses in makeup tutorials and travel vlogs on YouTube. There are even YouTube channels dedicated to just making time lapses. Today I'm going to show you a couple ways you can put together your own time lapse, and then we're going to put it together in Filmora. So, let's head outside. The easiest way to get into time-lapse photography is with something we all have in our pockets, a smartphone. In this example, I've got my iPhone 8 Plus here, but you can use any smartphone out there. Regardless of what you have, there will be an app out there to do a time-lapse. So on my iPhone, I'm going to use the built-in time-lapse function on the camera app. I'll simply hit record, let it go for a while, and when I'm done, I'll have a fully formed time-lapse video. No editing required. Things can get a little more complicated when shooting on a DSLR, like this Canon Rebel T5i over here. But the advantage to shooting on a DSLR is that you can get way better results. To shoot a time lapse on a DSLR, you'll need three things. You'll need your camera, your tripod, and something to tell the camera to take a sequence of photos with. On some cameras, there are apps that can do time lapses. On others, you'll have to use a certain item called an intervalometer. An intervalometer lets you tell your camera how often it should take a photo, whether that be once every second or once every five seconds. The key to shooting time lapses on DSLRs is to switch to manual mode and stick with your settings. I recommend lowering your ISO, closing your aperture, and lengthening your shutter speed to get some nice smooth motion. Some people will use ND filters to shoot even longer exposures. Next, we'll take our intervalometer and set a time interval for our photos. I've set three seconds over here, and we're gonna start the time lapse. For me to get a 10 second video out of this, I'm gonna have to let this roll for about 12 minutes, so I'm gonna go inside and grab some hot chocolate. All right, all done now, let's head inside. So I've got my photos in this folder over here and we're gonna import them into Filmora. If you don't have the latest version of Filmora or you're new here, you can download Filmora in the description below. Note that if you took raw photos, you'll need to process them and convert them to JPEG first. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna to go to File, Settings, and I'm going to hit Crop to Fit. Next, I'm going to highlight all of my photos and drag them into the timeline. To make this a proper time lapse, we're going to need to make each one of these one frame long. Let's select our photos and go to the photo inspector. I'm going to set the duration to one frame long, which is 0001, and we're going to hit apply to all. Now each photo will be one frame long, which is exactly what we're looking for. We'll export the project and voila, we have a time lapse. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and it inspires you to go out and shoot your own time lapses. If you do, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. We will be uploading editing tips and tutorials every week. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. See you guys next time.